At one point, the Warriors were down 19 in the second quarter. They were down nine at the half, and Philadelphia gave them all they could handle. But the second half dubs, heck, the third quarter dubs, turned this game around, and they outscored the Sixers 64 to 35 in that second half. They finish up with 32 assists in this ball game, and they win their ninth straight at home by double digits as we welcome everybody back to Warriors Post Game Live, presented by Toyota, the dancing champ, Fest Sister Zeely, NBA champ, Durrell Wright, and the Warriors continue to roll, and it turned there on that Jordan Poole half-court shot at the end of the first half, and then Wiggins woke up, stepped into the sting, and JTA! Man. Your guy, D. Right, yes, sir. Break the glass. I thought he brought it. Uh, like uh, Fessa just mentioned, his energy has been impeccable. And I feel like Steve Kerr trusts and believes in him. Let's go to Juan Toscano Anderson, who's standing by down there at Chase Center and JTA. Congratulations on a great performance tonight. And let's just discuss the two dunks here because we've seen your boy GP2 get up there. We've seen Wiggins posterize some guys. What about your two dunks tonight in that fourth quarter? Hey, man, I'm a quiet assassin, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 get, I get them when I can, man. Two points is two points, but, hey, I love to have those type of exciting plays, man, bring energy to my team. Chase Center is an amazing place to play. Shout out to Dub Nation, so, you know, plays like that, man. Go Tell ahead. me about the energy, bro. Tell me about the energy. It seems like when the, when the Dubs are flat, we, we look to you to bring some energy, man. Do you enjoy that role? Of course, man. I mean, it's, it's a skill, man. And you know what? That's where my value is, and that's what's going to keep me in this league, man. I get to wake up every day and play in the NBA. So if that's what it's going to take to keep me here, man, you better believe that I I'm going to play it. hard every chance that I can. I love it. JTA, congrats on another big win. Congrats on a good game as well. Another Thank game you, you played man. the whole fourth quarter. And like Fess has just mentioned, mentioned uh, Coach Kerr seems to trust you to play that whole fourth quarter and bring that energy. But just... The third quarter, though, you guys have been doing a great job of coming out in that third quarter and just busting the game wide open. Yeah, man, I don't know what it is, man. Ever since I've been watching the Warriors as a fan, you know, they've been very potent in that third quarter. So uh, I think it's just got a lot to do with Dre and Steph. You know, they're our leaders. Uh, you know, they, they keep us going, man, and they know what they're doing out there. They know what it takes to win. And so, you know, we had a rough first first half, and so we went we back in the locker room, regrouped. And, you know, we just follow our leaders, man. We got some hell of a leaders, man. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity and privilege to play with these guys. You know, JTA, every team, every good team, it seems like they have that enforcer on the roster. Now, you guys have Draymond Green. You have GP, mm -hmm. too. But it seems like whenever there's some drama popping off, <laughs> you're right there to make sure nothing is going to happen there. You defuse the situation in a way that uh, only Oakland Cats know how to defuse the situation. <laughs> Hey, man, whenever it's going down, I'm getting down. That's my motto. <laughs> mm. I love that. I love that. Hey, were, you guys, were you guys looking for uh, – were you looking out for Steph tonight? Because it seems like we got the Curry versus Curry battle tonight. It looked like y'all were looking out for one Curry. Hey, man, I'm, I'm sure that's a lot of fun for those two guys. You know, to play with your brother in this, in this league, you know, it's, it's very hard to make it in this league. So, you know, I have two guys in the same family, you know, playing against one another. Uh, that's amazing, man. Shout out to the Currys. JT, how much fun you having this year? 16-2, and two, you just won nine straight games at home by double digits. How much fun is the squad having right now? Man, winning is always fun, man. Playing in the NBA is fun, but when you win it, it's, you know, everything's better. So I'm having the time of my life, man. Uh, it's very exciting to be on a team this good. Uh, like I said, I'm having the time of my life, and I'm enjoying every second of it. Well, go relax. You haven't had a break in that entire fourth quarter. You played every second of that one as you guys blow away the Sixers. Happy Thanksgiving to you, JTA, and your family. Thanksgiving, likewise, bro. fellas. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving to Dub Nation. Absolutely. Thank you. Likewise. Congrats on a great game. And JTA there, perfect from the field. Six for six, Festus. 13 points. Six assists and coming off the bench with all that energy, energy D, right? I can't even get the word out right now. Energy. He's got me so fired up. And he's about that action, boss. He's See, that's what he should have said. I'm about that action. When something <laughs> happened, you know where to find JTA at. <laughs> And let's look at the crunch time tape here. Tied up with 9.33 left in the fourth quarter. Look at JTA with this wild shot to get him going. And I love the celebration there whenever he's doing that. <laughs> he couldn't even see the backboard, man. He was, he was, how do you, how do you get that going? I don't yeah, know. I love it, man. Energy, bro. And right and then, here. Look at oh! this. Watch your head. Watch your head, watch big your head. And that's a shot blocker that's right on there. That's the big man. That's on your enforcer. After this, it's like, I own this paint, okay? Look at this. Watch your head, D-Right. He lets everybody know about it. I love that emotion right there. And then 
The Warriors here were a little too unselfish, but JTA is going to clean it up there. Hey, man, you better put a body on JTA. You know he's going to crash a glass every single time, and you love his energy that you brought. Look at this. Over all three Warriors here. He's letting Chase Center know about it. Beat the chest up. And then Good look pass. at the dime right there. The soft touch Good pass. pass. The GP2. This With team is gargles? clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, the binoculars right there. <laughs> yeah, these guys are playing some great basketball. I feel like every third quarter they come out, they just bust the game open. That's nasty right there. This is a game where they got better. They got better. It looked like it was a really shaky game. Couldn't get any energy. And games like this will be like this, right? You have a team that is coming out here. You don't know the guys on the other team because you know, they're, they're playing shorthanded, and you have to find a way. Find a way to win. That's the name of the game. It's 82 game season, and they got it done. Yeah, and what makes them good, they make the in game adjustments. Steve Kerr is one of the best at that. You know, uh, they, they struggled in that first half with finding their shot around the perimeter. They were running them off the three point line. They figured it out. Extra ball move. We talked about 30 assists mm -hmm. with 32 tonight. 32 so tonight. When they're around that number, they get wins every time. 11 assists in that first half. They finished with 32. And it all started at the end of the second quarter where the Warriors are trying to get back in it, trying to get back in it. And with 1.4 seconds left in the first half, Jordan Poole walked up to center, Chase Center, and he did this right here. You rarely look off step for those half court shots. Jordan Poole said, I got it, Steph. I got it, and I'm going to leave the hand up just to let everybody know that I got it. <laughs> and I think this will bust the game open. This gave these guys confidence to go in the locker room. We cut that lead. It got all the way to 17. We cut it down to nine, so it was in single digits. So I thought the second half, they came out, and they showed, hey, we, we're the better team. This is a uh, – Steph has a water, right? There's a water brand that he has, probably some in that water that they, they're passing around. Okay, it's <laughs> half-court right. shots just going <laughs> in. Everybody. Hey, well, Shake had one earlier, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake Bill did have one in the third quarter. Yeah. Jordan Poole, though, said the bank was open even on a Friday night as we look at the third quarter. The Warriors from the second quarter into the third quarter went on a 30 to 8 run and they've been doing this all season long. The third quarter dubs, D, right? Hey, third quarter dubs. They're coming out attention to detail. Like we talked about, they make the proper in-game adjustments. I know uh, the NBA is on a different level now. These guys are able to watch film uh, within minutes. So I know they're watching film and making the proper adjustment and they play fast. That was a nice pass and finish right there by Draymond. I was very curious how they were going to come out and start the second half. Draymond Green had four fouls. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, OK, what are we going to do in this third quarter? First play of the game, he sets the screen, throw it right to Wiggs, right? Because Wiggs had four points in the first half. Let's get him going. From there, it was all downhill. They started playing downhill. He's playing confident. They're moving the ball. They're doing what they do. This is Dubs basketball, baby. This is, if you bring up Andrew Wiggins, he had nine points in the third quarter, finished with 15 in the second half. After we all said at halftime, he's got to get it going as he only had four points at the half. And he was super aggressive. He didn't pass up no shots. Whatever, Whenever he touched the ball, he was shooting. He was trying to get to his spots. He missed a few, but he stayed aggressive. That's what you love to see from Wiggs. And Rob Perez here. <laughs> Look at that tweet back in 2016. When you're on the Warriors Festus, time to play. Let's go to the bathroom and see if the Warriors are winning by the time we come back. <laughs> They're winning. Yeah, and They're that's winning. happening right now. They're they are winning. They are winning a lot of games right now. They've improved to 16 into 16 and 2 on the season. They have the best record in the NBA. The Phoenix Suns are also balling here. But let's look at the brotherly love, the brotherly affair there at Chase Center. Steph versus Seth. Pretty even across the board when you take away the assist. The assist numbers are pretty impressive, oh, though. Curry. No assist for Seth Curry. But he kept Philly in that game in the first half and helped Philly get a 19-point lead. That Curry is better than the other Curry. Which one? Yeah. Which Curry are you talking about? Well, they're both really good. Yeah. And tonight, you know, you, I don't know. I don't really understand what's happening in that family. They're all talented. This is amazing to see. It must be beautiful to, to be a part of. Hey, Pop set the tone. That's where it started at. <laughs> the ringleader. And these guys are doing an amazing job. I know their parents are pretty uh, excited. Not pretty excited. I know they're excited. Their whole family. Uh, Big Brother got him again. I know Fitz talked about how Seth has never outscored his brother. And Big Brother had to come get him by one point. But both of them had a great game tonight. Yes, Steph Curry with the 10 assists there. Got the ball moving because Philly did a great job of shadowing him. Dybul's a hell of a defender for oh, the yeah. Philadelphia 76ers. He's going to be in a conversation for DPOY in the future. No doubt about that. But he got it when he needed to. And the teammates around him helped. Seth Curry, once he got cold, it felt like Philly, their offense just... It died there. 35 points in the second half. And Seth Curry, the Warriors, I thought, did a good job on Seth in that second half. Yeah, and the biggest adjustment, I thought they contained him better in the second half off the dribble. We, we saw uh, Maxie getting in the paint, Milton getting in paint, Seth getting into the paint. And I thought the Warriors did a better job with keeping him out the paint yep. and playing without fouling. So 
first half, they went 12 for 12 from the free throw line. I thought they did a better job of playing without using their hands and making it hard on them, making them shoot over the hand. And it starts with that guy in the middle, Draymond Green. Came out second half, and I don't think he had a foul in second half. No, he no. didn't commit one foul. <laughs> that's, that's really hard <laughs> he to didn't do commit coming one out foul. the first half, having four fouls to start off the game, and then coming in the second half and just, you know, playing without fouling. That's the name of the game. Shout out to the coach. The Warriors have this secret weapon. I'm going to tell you all uh -oh. a secret. His name is Ron Adams. He's the coach for the, he's the defensive coach for the Golden State Warriors. He's the one that teaches them to, to play without fouling. Guard it and, and meet people at the rim without following them. That is a big key to the reason why they're so good defensively. And I want to give a shout out to my guy, Ron Adams. Okay? Ron Adams, he joined us on set a couple weeks ago. Now, let's look into the wall here, fellas. Let's spread out for a second to see Steph Curry here because he loves his shimmy. We know that. He can dance here and he hits yeah, this what three. Was this move? Yeah, I don't know what this move was. Right in front of Doc Rivers. I, I, I don't know what river that dance. is. Yeah, kind of like a janky <laughs> river dance, right? I look at Doc right there like, oh, man. Oh! Oh, look at Guy DeBray's hat. He's feeling it. He's seeing it. He's like, okay, I see you, Steph. That is hilarious. We got to figure that out. Kareth Kendrick, Grant Lippin. Somebody figure out what that dance is. We did a dance like this on Instagram earlier. Did I we? Wonder, you think? I didn't do no dance. No, you, what are you okay, talking about? On Instagram, at Fezzy Phil. Y'all oh, see a no. dance with these, these two guys. I just got here. <laughs> uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know. Ah, Dark and Jagger dance. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Uh. Steph has got to step with it, though. Guys. Yeah, I, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Jordan Poole, look. Jordan Poole's coming into his own. We discussed him in the pregame show about whether or not he's going to make that leap to an all-star. Now, it probably won't happen this year. There's a lot of great guards in the Western Conference, but he is playing smooth at a control pace. 17 points, five rebounds, six assists, and he continues to stack up good game after a good game, and he's talking, and he's playing defense, D, right? I thought he had a solid game tonight. He didn't do too much. He just played within the game, uh, took what the defense gave him. Uh, a very underrated passer. I think he does a great job of finding his teammates and being a playmaker. And that mm. right there is a tough play right there. A lob on the run. Six assists for a night where it's not all going like it normally does, right? He's somebody who plays at his own pace, plays at a good pace. Usually, mm -hmm. he used to be really rushed. And now, this year, he's playing Ooh. at his pace. This pass nice right pass. here, was it, it shows his growth. This is the new Jordan Poole that I'm loving to watch. So shout out to Joe, JP. Yeah, he's playing well. And when he does slide to the bench at some point over the next month or two, uh, he's going to play well. But look at Andrew Wiggins. We always talk about Andrew Wiggins, right? Is he going to be aggressive? Is he going to be two-way wigs? Well, at halftime, he only had four points. He had a quiet first half, but he came out right away in that third quarter with nine points in that frame, finished with 19. And he was not only playing well offensively, but I thought defensively he was pinning basketballs to the backboard. He was everywhere tonight in that second half. He did a great job in that second half and you could tell when guys come out super aggressive like that their coaches or their teammates are saying hey man we need you to pick it up we need you to score if we're going to win this game and that's what it looked like when two-way wigs came out in that second half he defended at a high level and he made big shots. Four points in the first half comes out second half and, and the coaches make an adjustment right this is what the Warriors do they make an adjustment first play of the game goes straight to Wiggins and from there you know he takes over. He's a superstar. And so that's Ooh, what he does. Two-way wigs with a solid performance. Draymond Green ends up with 10, 10 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. The Warriors again win their ninth straight game at home by double digits. They're 16-2. and two. We're going to see Portland on a Friday and then the Phoenix Suns next week for two games. I, can I can't wait, wait for that. Because this, this team right now is clicking. JTA, Ooh. GP2, Otto Porter Jr., don't sleep on him. He's hit nine threes over the last two games. So... Talk, discuss what it's like in that locker room when everything is rolling there like it is right now for the Warriors. You know, they always say, like, they say winning cures all, right? And in a team like this, they're winning, right? And so we're, we're kind of looking to see what happens when they hit adversity. Right? What happens when Clay comes back and he's not playing like he wants to, or Jordan Poole has to go to the bench? These are all things that we're all looking to see this season. But with a locker room like this, with a, with a guy like Draymond there, with a guy like Iguodala there, Steph Curry, Coach Kerr, great manager of, of people, I think the Warriors will be okay, but we're just looking to see the next, the growth, the, yeah. the adversity part of this team. I think the biggest thing with the Warriors this far is they're protecting their home court. And we all know import, how important it is to protect your home court because once you get on that road, there's only the 15 guys in that locker oh, room. Yeah. So I think they're doing an awesome job of protecting their, court, their home court and taking advantage of these home games. So mm -hmm. when they do get in those tough back-to-backs or those tough uh, four games and five, I, I don't even know if they still do that yeah, anymore. Do that anymore. <laughs> they go on long road trips. Yeah. 
They had three games and four nights on the road last week, and they won all three. But this gives them that cushion once they go to those tough games, and, you know, they have those unfair back-to-backs that most teams have. So I love the chemistry. I love what they're building right now. So I think this team is just going to continue to get better and better. They are rolling 16-2, and they're now 6-0 and in games where they trail by double digits. And tonight, they trail by 19 and found a way to win it. But we're here from the st- head coach Steve Kerr on the other side on this miraculous comeback victory. D-Right, watch your head! Watch your head! Ah. On your head top!